Hey guys, Armin Gunn here tonight with the part four on the ATRS Modern Varmint. This is an alternative AR-15, not a mil spec, which is really cool. It's actually got some, some really neat features. We're gonna discuss those in greater detail today here. And uh, if you're just tuning in today, that's totally fine. You don't necessarily need to see the original parts. Part one was just a quick introduction, just introducing this video series. I showed another version of this gun as well in 308, which I have right here. The Modern Hunter, same company, just this is a large frame, like an AR-10, whereas this is an AR-15-based system. Um, part two is a shooting video. Go check that out, especially if you're interested in these cross mags, which are really slick couplering mag systems. If you're in any place that has limits on magazines, capacity, go check these out. But I ran through those. And then part three was just assembly. The gun is so much like an AR-15. I didn't feel like doing a, a really involved... Uh, version of that, but I just show you how to took it apart because there's a few quirks with with the uniqueness of the system to how it comes apart. So I displayed that, and then today we're just going to talk about a little bit about the rifle's history, the company that produces it, where it comes from. Uh, we're going to go through all the unique features of the rifle. We'll discuss the ergonomics really quickly, and then I'll take you for a quick tour inside the gun, and we'll see the internals and just how it's unique from an AR-15 and how it got a unique classification as being a non-restricted um, AR-type gun in Canada. And uh, from there, I'll bust out a bonus gun. The Modern Hunter I just showed you does not count. I've got another bonus gun for you. And other than that, we'll, uh, we'll carry on. So, without further ado, ATRS. This is a family-run company in Calgary, Alberta. If you've ever heard of the Stampede, Calgary, famous Calgary Stampede, that's the same city where this... This company is made. I know the owner uh, personally, Rick and his son, Dustin. They build these guns. Uh, they've been doing AR guns in Canada for a long time. They make a really high quality um, AR receiver with a lot of cool appointments. Uh, really neat stuff, just like just high end finishes you don't see in a lot of other places. For example, uh, when you take the grip off, if you've ever done a grip change on an AR-15, you pull the grip off and then all of a sudden you've got springs and detents popping out on you um, for the safety and such well these guys took it a step further and did a little threaded insert and so when you pull the grip off you just see a little like a little allen head key that you would spin out and that's a little threaded insert again that that retains the spring and plunger just nice tasteful upgrades like that that i, I appreciate um and actually the bonus gun i'm going to bring out for you guys later on it's got a really it's another ar gun it's actually an ar-15 a true ar-15 that these, this company built and it's got a really cool ar-15 upper which I've, I've shown recently, but again, it's fitting with this video, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag it out once more and show you that to you guys. Uh, so again, a company based in Alberta, in Canada. It's, it's a great company. Um, it's a really nice, they, they, they did a great service to Canadians by, by bringing this out because for the last 25 years, AR-15s have been unfairly scrutinized and placed in a very restrictive ownership category that limits their use. You can't take them out to hunt, you can't take them out to shoot in your backyard on private land or crown land, which just really sucks. And uh, while you can still do it with a ton of other modern sporting guns, um, so really, they have the same functionality, it's just really unfortunate. So this was the first gun, sorry, this is the second, this is the first gun chambered in, in 223 or 556 to do this. The modern hunter did precede it, but it was chambered in 308. Um, they got the classification for that gun first, and this is the modern varminter um, came after. And again, really provided Canadians with the first rifle that they could uh, basically treat like an AR-15 out in the bush. And that was obviously hugely successful and spurred a lot more development by other companies, uh, one of which is even in Alberta as well, in Calgary nonetheless. Uh, I know those guys as well, Wyatt and Shea with McAbee Defense. They make the SLR, which is a beautiful receiver set that you guys can basically just buy as its, as its own thing and then run all AR-15 components on. Um, barrels, handguards, triggers, T-handles, buffers, everything. Um, it's it's just a user-generated platform. It's based again on a unique system. It's not a mil-spec receiver set. It's got a T-slot system. And if you guys in the States want to get your hands on this, go check out Aeronox because he's, he's worked closely with these guys, even makes some of their uppers, um, but he's also doing the same system now for the States. Or something very similar. So cool. Again, that's Aeronox. And that's the Maccabee Defense SLR. For those who are interested. Um, again, so 
let's, let's jump into unique features now that I've talked, I think, but the background a bit to death. Um, we've, it's, it's a side charging affair and it's got a really nice side charging in the fact that it's magnetically closing. It's non-reciprocating because we're, we're open now. And we've got ambidextrous controls. We've got an ambidextrous mag release on here as well. Let's let that down a bit gingerly. Uh, it's obviously got the capacity for ambidextrous mag release and safety, although these guns are basically ordered as custom guns and the user gets to, to, to choose what they want to do for ambi or not. The, the original owner of this, which was not myself, um, ordered this with just single controls. So we've just got a single mag and a single safety, uh, though those obviously can, can be readily swapped out. It's basically got a competition grade trigger, which is a drop-in system. Uh, I guess I'm on safe, that's not gonna do much, but really nice, single stage, really crisp break, probably around four, three and a half, four pounds. Really nice trigger right there. And again, when you're, another cool thing is they've got, uh, you'll notice due to the side charger, this upper's got a wider profile. As a result, the bolt catch is canted out a little bit. So when you go to slide this back, you can just trip that bolt catch with your finger and that locks it open, which is pretty, pretty slick. Definitely like that. Um, otherwise, again, Ergo Sure Grip, so it just takes any AR mag, any AR stock, the Magpul PRS. Got a JP uh, Enterprises handguard on here. Let's jump inside now and take a good look at the internals. I'm gonna just show you exactly, you know, how this breaks apart. That was in part three of the video, actually. I did an assembly video. I don't need to show you that again, but I'll show you the internals and how this gun is unique from your typical AR-15. Then we'll jump back, take a quick look at the, uh, oh, sorry. Really gotta, really gotta approach these things with a bit of vigor. They're really easy to do. You just gotta, that one's actually a bit, a bit tight. Um, anyways, cross mags, sorry, I'm just, Kind of whenever I have these in my hands, I just tend to play with them and just tend to tend to do that, uh, which is kind of a lot of fun. Uh, we'll we'll bust back out and we'll look at the Accutac bipod really quickly, and that'll be that'll be it for this video series on the Alberta Tactical Modern Varmint. I'll revisit it for accuracy sometime in the future. Definitely, it has a nice stainless steel medium profile um, barrel and a factory ATRS muzzle brake. They make these guys in house, so just a six port muzzle brake. Nice clean lines, uh, but yeah, let's let's jump inside and then we'll we'll jump back out and, and close the video. All right, guys, let's just look really quickly at the internals of this thing. Uh, it's very similar to an AR-15, but the receiver cut is different. And this was done on purpose uh, again so that this could not be interchangeable with the mil spec ARs. That's just a requirement in Canada. ARs are definitely unfairly demonized up here in Canada, and um, there is always an ongoing effort to produce a very AR-esque weapon to, to take, or I shouldn't say weapon, firearm, to take advantage of all the modularity and all the aftermarket support the AR-15 has, but yet be just different enough to avoid being classified as a true mil-spec AR-15 or AR-15 variant and, uh, and therefore get past that ridiculous law. So ATRS has done it with the modern varmint with this cool slope down receiver design. And again, this, this T notch. So you can see this notch in the rear receiver here, it's, you know, it's a flat there. And instead of a hole going through that side, there's a hole going through parallel with the barrel. And that hooks into this little lug inside the base of the receiver there. You can see that right in there. That's where that, that hooks in. It's a really nice solid connection. There's no wobble whatsoever in this platform, which should help lend to good accuracy. And you got an aftermarket competition trigger, drop in, ambi bolt release, just a lot of good features in here. Um, the upper is unique in the fact that it does have a side charging, um, non-reciprocating, magnetically closed uh, side charger, a side charging upper. The barrels, I believe, have to have a little bit of machining tweaked on them. I don't think you can just take a standard AR-15 barrel off the shelf. I think it needs a small flat or something machined on it to work with this. And the bolt carrier group is also proprietary. It's got a little notch uh, or a little, little notch uh, machined in there to link up with the side charging upper. Otherwise, it's very, very similar. You can see everything here looks very similar to your standard AR-15 bolt carrier group. So that's, that's the gun. Let's um, throw it back together and close out the video. Thanks a ton, guys.
All right, and we're back, put back together. So again, pretty unique internals. Um, pretty unique system. And again, just no receiver wobble. These things are just, this thing fits like a solid unit, which is pretty cool. Um, AccuTac, let's just pop this thing off. It'll be easier to talk about that way. Nice cutie latch right there. And again, it's got, uh, you can adjust tension on the back here. So you get a bit of tilt. This cool system is, uh, is neat. You just, it's kind of like a self ratcheting system. You can just pop it up and then tuck it out of the way. Really cool. I love this SR5 system. Just to press this latch here, these auto retract. And these come standard with a rubber foot, which really easily spins off. And you can put these, these uh, A, you can get claws, and you can also get spikes, or you can do both. And I think both look super cool. So that's how I've opted for this SR5. SR5 just being a really um, versatile system. And again, you can run the, uh, you can run the legs forward or reversed and at 45 degrees or 180 or 90. So pretty neat system, very rugged, very simple as well. Definitely liking AccuTac. Oh, all right, guys, that is, I really like this gun. Really like this gun. Let's, let me bust out real quickly now the, the bonus gun, which again is the lower anyways, is made by the same company. You'll see it looks very identical, except for the fact that it is a mil spec and you can run mil spec things like this Colt Canada SAS IUR upper, which, oh, this thing, I got to get a video of this thing out here pretty soon too. This thing is really cool upper, monolithic upper. I got a vertical forward grip, kind of a retro style made by Custom Smith Manufacturing. Go check him out. Um, but here we go. Here is, here is that lower by the same company, Alberta Tactical Rifle. So they call it an AT-15, not an AR-15, because AR-15, I think, is still a patented name. But uh, this one's got the Ambi, Ambi Safeties, Ambi Mag Release, here and uh, the bolt catch again is a standard affair because this is not a side charging upper uh, so it's got a standard bolt catch and the same ambi release nice system really cool little blaster so that's it that's the video for the today guys thanks a ton this has been a fun gun to shoot this is actually a really nice gun to shoot nicely balanced uh, again 18.6 inch barrel stainless medium profile this is a really nice shooter if you haven't already checked out check it out go check out my part two of the shooting video um, I ran, I ran 40 rounds through this gun in four 10 shot bursts and it just shot really well. I guess I got a JP silence capture buffer in here as well, which uh, just also makes things run nice and smooth, but oh, she's nice. This is a nice, nice gun. Anyways, that's it. Thanks a ton guys. Arm and gun out.